it's time for IP in the news. And what are we talking about today? Well, if you wanted to start a podcast based on a famous person, would you just do it without asking them? Of course. <laughs> Well, That's just the way we are. <laughs> well, Oprah didn't like that too much. So, so these people started Oprah Demix, and it's all things Oprah, but they did it without her permission. So they used. So she got mad and sued them, basically. Using the trademark infringement process through right. intellectual property. Right. And she's like, she built this brand over 35 years and these people are using it to make money on a podcast. I mean, yeah. So here's the interesting point though. These uh, are fans who do, and they talk about Oprah and they only put her in a positive light. They say positive things about her and her career. And I think that they thought that they would use her name in the title of the podcast because she wouldn't object. Because she would say, oh, these people are saying nice things about me and improving my publicity. So wh why would she care? Well, because they say that a lot of people have used the Oprah effect or the O factor to make money. Right. And Oprah built the brand. It's her property, right? Yeah, so, I mean, I don't disagree. She gets to decide what so she wants to do. She asked him to stop the podcast. So I think she said just not to use her name to change the name of the podcast so it doesn't dilute the brand because people might listen to this podcast and think that oprah it's part of uh, oprah's business right part of she, she agrees with the, right. with the content and all of that i i get it from a business point of view um but it's time for richard's roundtable and i want to put this out to the team what do you guys think about this um uh and what do you think you know what do you think is fair lewis your comments I think it's one of those things that you have to protect your brand no matter what, because that is your brand is something you built. But on the other side of the coin, I think about Star Wars. Star Wars have fans that do all sorts of films and things. And instead of looking down on it, Lucasfilm embraced it and brought the fans forward and let them be a part of it. But with Oprah's stuff, I can also see how one slip of the tongue and a brand could be shot. So I kind of agree with her on that one. Right. Like, what if they insulted somebody really famous in a really bad way? I see what you're saying, where you're going with this. And they attributed that to Oprah. Or even if they didn't attribute it to her by the virtue of the fact that they have her name on it, it looks like she has condoned it. So then it would create a whole big headache for her. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that. I, I obviously, that's the reasoning behind it. But uh, Kenya, maybe you have a thought. Well, I mean, it's her name, right? I feel like if it's my name, it's one thing if they use it as a podcast, like the title of a podcast episode, right? But to name the entire podcast after her using her likeness, I agree. I I would have felt the same way. I would have asked them not to, to title the podcast as such. I don't know, though. If somebody were doing the Kenya Gibson podcast, do you think you would object to that? I would, because if I'm not on it and I can't control the narrative and you're using my name and to Lewis's point, you say something crazy and then my brand is linked to whatever you're saying. No. <laughs> <laughs> and she's serious about it, too. <laughs> Don't try that at home, kids. Don't try that at home. Kareem Claude, what do you think? Well, <clears throat> I think that, you know, I agree with what everyone said. It's protecting your brand. And, you know, I'm glad that they're saying great things about Oprah. I'm a big fan of Oprah's personally. Um, but we all know that she's a kingmaker, a queen maker. You know, she mentions a book. It it uh, it becomes a bestseller. Mm -hmm. She mentions Obama, Barack Obama. He becomes president. Right. So everyone knows she's like the fairy godmother that makes dreams come true. And it's sort of like having her mention your name without having her mention your name in the hopes of being, you know, crown the king or queen yeah yeah absolutely um uh claude um yeah i'm i think i, I see it from a business perspective because a, a lot of times um you know you spend as a small business person you spend years and years building something investing in um taking risks to get to a certain point and then um you know other people look at an opportunity and want to take advantage of it so i think People don't always understand that risk and that investment to that point. So I think it's it's a it's a slam dunk for me um, on the side of Oprah. Yeah, you know, you, 
you look at it, Oprah's already so famous and she's like pro one of the most popular people in the world. So is one podcast going to improve her reputation that much? Probably not. But there's also probably a downside if something does go off the rails, then that create could create some sort of problem for her. So, you know, it, 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 she's already popular enough. She and's got enough fans. She doesn't need that much more. But Lisa, maybe you have a, a view on this. Well, first off, props to them. They went straight to the top. They went straight for Oprah. I mean, they they have a big pair. So good for them. I think they would have had a different um, outcome if they followed the proper channels in getting her permission. Maybe she would have supported them, but since they did not, and I agree, uh, she started off where I'm at now, and now she's Oprah. Um, they definitely definitely needed to follow the proper channels to, um, you know, to get her permission. So yeah. she's not wrong. Yeah, she's not wrong. And and the the article said that they're not trying to shut down the podcast. They're just trying to get them to use a a, a different name. So something without Oprah. So, you know, that, that, that takes the edge off of it in the sense that they can keep their program going. They just can't call it Oprah Demix or whatever name they came up with. So. Right. And lest we get accused of stealing somebody's intellectual property, this appeared in deadline.com. <laughs> and it was written by Bruce Herring, who's an editorial manager. <laughs> so. Yes, let's give, make sure all we give due credit where credit is due. So anyway, that was a very uh, interesting discussion. And I guess the takeaway is, is if get permission first, get if you're going to go out there and use a celebrity's name, uh, get their permission uh, before you get started. Otherwise, you could end up in the news like this. 